بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ویلکم بیک دس کلاس وی شیل ڈسکس آن ویژول سی پلس پلس اپلیکیشن وچ یوز تھری ہریزانڈل اسکرول بارس آئی ہیو اے ڈائلاگ بیسڈ اپلیکیشن ان وچ تھری اسکرول بارس آر دیر ایف آئی چینج دی کلر دین ون چینجز دی ریڈ کلر اینڈ اندر اسکرول بار چینجز دی گرین کلر اینڈ اندر اسکرول بار چینجز دی بلو کلر دیر فور وی کین change the rectangle color based on the uh, scroll bar the thumb position how this simple dialog based application can be created we shall see this right let us start visual c++ i select file new i select application wizard i call the application name as uh, say coloring i say coloring let this be a dialog based application and i say finish and okay so here i have a dialog these controls i delete i switch on the grid so that i can place the control properly i little bit i make it little bit bigger right i take a static text this is just a label to indicate which scroll bar we are using so this i call this one is called a red scroll bar Right, we shall drag a horizontal scroll, see that this one, the tool tip is appearing, the horizontal scroll, this control we shall take for adjusting the intensity of the red and what is the present value we shall display in this edit box. So I have taken edit box. Right, so these three controls I take, I along with the control key pressed and I align to the top. Right, I want one more control for displaying the green therefore i select all the three while pressing control key you drag so that i get one more copy of these controls and likewise you drag one more control this is for the blue so you drag one more control so that this can be controlling the uh, value of the blue one two three so this i drag it and so three controls we have right So this label I call it as green and this label I call it as blue. Right. Now we have other than these three static text, we have three horizontal scroll bars and three edit boxes. We have to associate variable names to this. Therefore go to the class wizard. In the member variable tab, for the edit box one I call it as E1 which will display an integer value. Likewise, edit box 2 which will display an integer value and edit box 3 we shall call this as E3 which will display an integer value. Likewise, for the scroll bar 1 I call it as S1 of control type so that only if I select the control it will be inherited from a scroll bar class so that this will become an object and I can use member functions of this class. Therefore, instead of value I select control. Okay, then likewise for the scroll bar 2, I call it as S2 of type control and likewise for scroll bar 3, I call it as S3 of control type. Right, these variables we have associated. Now we shall include some message maps also. To our surprise, see that the scroll bar 1, scroll bar 2 has no events, has no messages. Therefore, all the scroll bars are associated one with common message called as H scroll indicates a click in the horizontal scroll bar. Therefore, I add this method and I take that function. Alright, now in the class wizard and the dialog class, now let us add some variables. So, these are the variables which already we have associated in the controls. Now, I click the right click and I add a member variable. We have to color a rectangle, therefore I take a rectangle class, therefore the object is equal to R. Therefore now here instead of declaring I will add directly. Therefore R is an object of type C rect class. Now this rectangle has to be painted with a brush, therefore I require one more brush, one more brush class, BRUSH brush class and I call the object is equal to my brush. Alright. 
Now we want to generate the color using red, green, blue. Therefore, we shall take a structure, color reference. And color reference I take a red is a variable, structure variable, and green is a variable, and blue is a variable. Then we want a device context, therefore pointer, pointer to your device context. So these four variables we have declared, see that those variables are added. R is of type red and this red, green, blue, these are of type uh, uh, color reference structure. My brush is an object of brush and this one is of class uh, device context. Right. Now we shall come to the, there is a special function called as on init dialog. That is whenever the dialog box is displayed and on init dialog box, uh, this function is executed. Here we shall add the initial values. Therefore, under in m underscore e1 for the first edit box, I will display the first value equal to 0 and m underscore edit 2 box, I display it as 0. m underscore e3 is equal to 0. Right, likewise in m underscore scroll bar 1, I set the scroll range, scroll range, normally a color takes up to 255, therefore 0 to 255 because it is 8 bit and likewise for the remaining two scroll bars we shall take the, for the scroll range is equal to this is yes 2 and this one is yes 3, okay. Now these variables has to be reflected on the controls therefore I display I display using the update data is equal to false okay right now the only thing is we have to attach the this uh, uh, fill this horizontal function now this function has three main parameters one is the sb code that is in this horizontal scroll bar what item i am clicking whether i am clicking the up button or am i clicking the left button or left this one uh, down button or left button or right button or it is line left line right or is it a thumb position therefore that one and the second one is right now the thumb is at what position and this one is a pointer to one of the scroll bars in here we can see that there are multiple scroll bars and which scroll bar we are referring is represented here right here we shall add our lines now first i check if the msb if msb code that is if the if it is equal to compare operator and i use a constant scroll bar thumb position thumb position if i drag that then then we i do a set of things now out of that if this one which out of many three scroll bars which scroll bar i am pressing if the pointer to the scroll bar pointer to a scroll bar if it is equal to the address of my first scroll bar m underscore s1 then what shall we do is i will get the red value is equal to whatever position right now it is there okay then next in underscore in m underscore edit one i will display this value n underscore position and uh, i set the position therefore m underscore s1 dot set scroll position set scroll position set scroll position to whatever position it is uh, right these are the things i do whenever the first scroll bar is clicked that is when the red scroll bar is clicked same way i do for the second scroll bar i copy for the second sorry i copy for the second scroll bar this one i copy and i paste for the second scroll bar and likewise for the third scroll bar Therefore, whenever the second scroll bar, when S2 is clicked, then I put the value in green and I update the second edit box, edit second edit box, and I set the second scroll bar. Likewise, whenever the third scroll bar is clicked, then I update the value of blue and I update the third edit box with the position and I update the third scroll bar to wherever position it is dragged. Right, now, after these things, now what shall we do is, first we have to get a device context because we want to fill the rectangle. Therefore, pointer to a device context is equal to get device context. Get device context. 
right i got the address of the screen that is the address of the device context then i this my brush so this i create a brush my brush dot create solid brush with what with rgb component of red what i got and the green and the blue okay i created the brush and i will make a rectangle or already have declared then i pass the constructor c rectangle some x comma y coordinate and something say 500 comma something 220 coordinate right this is x and y this is the rectangle and using the device context let us fill the rectangle which rectangle the rectangle r with what with the reference variable of my brush okay now this much is there now m underscore e1 we are putting this therefore let us fill this uh, the update data so that the edit box are also filled therefore update data and this i call it as a far so that the values can be reflected on the this one right now let us check it out i save everything and if i build the application then you can see that uh, there are if i run the application you see that there are no errors and if i run the application you can see that a dialog box is popping out and if i drag you can see that to what position it is moving see that if i drag then it is filling the rectangle but again if i drag i may get an error see that a debug assertion failed error is coming therefore i abort it therefore let us build the project and set the active configuration to a release version and again let us build and now let us run this now see that if i keep on changing the red value the value of the red component is increased likewise the value of the green is changed and likewise the value of the blue is changed i can get any combination by adjusting the value of the red green blue scroll bars yes this has given a simple demonstration of uh, what uh, the scroll bars can apply the same thing, thing we can extend it to a vertical scroll bar also and moreover this one this this is called this square is called as the thumb position this one is called as the line left and this one is line right and this area is called as the page left this area is called as the page right but we have not associated any event the, nothing will change because we have written our code only to change whenever the thumb position is pressed okay all right we shall see the mining thing in the next class okay if you have any queries please email me and uh, write the comments to encourage me thank you so much